if the way that you edit, add, delete log sources is using this traditional icon, I'm pretty sure that you're going to like the log source management app, which gives you not only a more modern GUI, but there's a lot of value. The thing I like the most about it is what I first saw on the UBA app, of when you are tuning the rules, that allows you to use multiple filters, for example, give me all the ones that are have received data recently, those 13, and uh, you can combine that with a search criteria, only the ones that have AWS, and then you get, you know, only those two. So much easier, when, especially when you have hundreds and hundreds of uh, log sources uh, to select them in a uh, smarter way. So let me actually clear the filters. Also, you can select one and do edit. And this thing uh, gives you, I mean, walks you by the hand and gives you more detail information for you to fill up the parameters than the original app. I feel that this gives you, uh, you know, a nicer interface. But you can also, and true, you can do the same in the other one as well. You can do bulk editing, in which, you know, I select those two, and I select uh, both on the overview of the parameters as well as the protocol. You select what option uh, you are going to be changing all at once. I say that you have something that you want to change, a password or something in, you know, 500 uh, Linux servers. Well, you can select them, filter them here, select them, and uh, edit, it, edit them all at once and make that change. So that saves you a lot of, uh, a lot of time. Also, another thing that is kind of uh, interesting is that you can uh, select whatever combination of logs it is here and and then go to the and see the logs that had come from that I don't have any any log in here but you see it puts that filter in there so when you do it with one it's not that you know impressive but if you have multiple apps uh, multiple log sources but with a complex uh, type of criteria uh, selected, uh, you can actually, you know, let's say that you select all these, and I want the the log sources that come in this particular filter. Then all those filters are automatically put in here, so it's easier for you to look for the log sources related to that particular app, uh, log sources, rather. Now, what else I like? Well, you, you get this uh, uh, column in here that can be uh, either absent, would mean everything is okay, or can be read when it's an error, because I have not received events in this particular case. Actually, when I click on it, I can see that uh, the error is uh, error communication with app Akamai Kona. Uh, so you can read the, the actual uh, error message in there. And also there's a, when it's something that is a warning, you get a yellow like here, you know. You get a yellow icon. So again, nicer, easier uh, to navigate. Not only you can edit and delete, and, but you can also add new log sources. You can click here on the new log source and notice that you can do s one at a time or in bulk. Say that you, you know, want to have uh, at uh, 500 uh, Linux servers. You can do them all at once and say that you select the, the log source type. I'm going to be selecting the, uh, the different options, the protocol type, 
the log source parameter and notice that in here you have the variables that are going to be changing for every one of the log sources that you do. The old or the traditional app also had this functionality as well. Now some people may say well I don't like to be to do this step by step I know what I'm going to do it I want to do it all at once you have the quick log source in which very similar to the traditional one you can actually input all the parameters uh, at once.